it's part number two. As it is lap number nine. The 19, sorry, not the 19, the 20 of Franklin Roosevelt is leading the race with Barack Obama second, third, Calvin Coolidge, fourth, John Quincy Adams, and fifth, Jams Buchanan. <laughs> Jams, what, what did I just say? Off turn number four and into the trial two extremely low budget teams are in the top five. Three of them actually, my bad. That is that right there is impressive. I am loving this. This is the best part of these of these races. Off turn number two, Franklin Roosevelt and the rest of the top five are single file and even the top ten as well. The 83 of James Buchanan got to the inside and there is the 67 of Rutherford Hayes. Hey, where's Carl Edwards at? <laughs> Get it because... If you didn't know, Rutherford Hayes is actually a... He's actually kin to Carl Edwards. He's his great-great-grandfather. Franklin Roosevelt continues to lead. He's been blocking those guys like no tomorrow. And that's exactly like what's going on right here because we only have eight laps to go. Sorry, nine laps to go. There's the nine, uh, I'm sorry, the 19 of Ronald Reagan diving to the inside there. Calvin Coolidge in the 170. I mean, for that low, for that Sierra team, he running in third and keeping it, I, I am, I am really impressed. I mean, they can't even qualify in some of these races. Off the trial will they go, and the 20 continues to lead. Will Barack Obama get a win again? I mean, sorry, not again, but will he finally get a win? Ronald Reagan, it might be a surprise here, as we have eight laps to go, by the way. Lyndon Johnson is also a little bit of a surprise. There he is in the 0-1, right next to that red car, who is Ronald Reagan. Ronald tries to dive to the inside, but it will not work as they just cut him off. They stay in the door. James Garfield in the 124. How about him in fourth? That little Mexican restaurant car is going great. He dives to the inside. And Barack Obama is left stranded. Franklin Roosevelt, Ronald Reagan, James Garfield, Benjamin, I mean, sorry, William Harrison, and George Washington are in the top five. Around comes the 22 of William Harrison, passing the 124. Ronald Reagan in the 19 continues to stay in the second. And the 20, the 20 is just blocking left and right. Watch this. It's definite that he will be, that someone will try and pass him on the straightway. And he's just going to keep it going. Lap 14 of 19, just five laps remain. Sorry, I meant four laps remain. I mean, six laps to go. My bad. This is true. Six laps remaining. Again, I didn't even see James Garfield anywhere, and he's in third. Calvin Coolidge in the 170 also. Right there in the black car. Right next to the two red cars. Here we go. Five, I mean, yes, five laps to go this time by. James Garfield moves to second as William is left behind. The 124 of James Garfield continues to stay in the second. 
speaking of continues, how about Franklin Roosevelt? He has been holding on to that first position ever since. I'm loving it. Love it. Love it. Just love it. Around into turn number one. I mean, sorry, three they go. Franklin continues to lead. As we also have a new competitor, that's James Monroe down to the inside there. Dale Jarrett, I mean, sorry, this isn't, that's not Dale Jarrett. I'm sorry, I meant, I meant the 88. James Madison continues to lead. With just three laps to go. Here comes the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's deciding to be a volunteer in today's race. He's replacing the... He's replacing John Fitzgerald Kennedy right now. Because, for some reason, uh, John had to get have surgery today for... What was it? Uh, a tumor, right? Tumor? Yeah, a tumor on his left leg. So, best wishes for him. As here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the inside now. With just three laps to go, they continue to race cleanly. George Bush in the 99. John Adams in the 2. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88. If Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins this, well, John... I mean, this will be a crazy, a crazy tale. Off of turn number 4 now. Dale Earnhardt Jr. continues to lead. Two laps to go. George Bush in the 99. Dive to the inside. And Teddy Roosevelt will be right behind him. Two Roush guys are right behind each other. And the 88 loses ground. William Taft in the 30. Here comes a big upset for that 30, I bet ya. The 99 of George Bush continues to lead. William Taft will try and dive to the inside. Will it work? No, it won't. White flag is waving in just a few seconds from now. Off turn four and into the trial hole. George Bush continues to lead. Oh, here comes Bill Clinton. Where did he come from? Clinton to the inside, white flag wave, Clinton is your new race leader. Bill Clinton, out of nowhere, takes the lead, he has not let it last.